Hello, my name is Sergeant Payne with the Coconut County Sheriff's Office Flagstaff Patrol Division, and I'm here today to talk to you about firearm safety and education, how to keep you and your family safe with firearms in the home. There are four fundamental firearm safety rules that are universal. The first is treat every gun as if it is loaded. The second is never point your firearm at something that you are not willing to destroy. The third is keep your finger off the trigger and straight along the frame until you are on target and have made the decision to fire. And the fourth is know your target and its surroundings. I know a lot of us, including myself, like to keep a loaded firearm in the home for home defense, self-defense, things like that. But when we have people in our home, such as children, who may have access to that firearm, we need to make sure that it's stored safely. So a good way to do that is with a gun safe. Um, you know, they have the large stand-up safes where you can store multiple firearms, or you can have a smaller safe, such as this, um, that connects to your end table, nightstand, bed frame, something like that to keep people from taking it, but you can quickly access it. This particular safe is a combination lock and a dial. They do have biometric safes that run off of fingerprints, and they also have uh, keypad safes. Uh, whatever is in your budget you can afford, um, there's tons of them out there, and check your local uh, you know, gun, sh gun shop or big box uh, retailer in order to get something like this. But this will help keep that firearm away from any of the unauthorized uh, users. So what you would do is just open up your box, place your loaded firearm into the box, go ahead and close it, lock it. Should the need arise, you can enter the code, quickly turn, access the firearm, and uh, use it if need be. These cable locks are um, free of charge from either the Sheriff's Office or Coconino County Health and Human Services, but they are readily available and very cheap at any uh, major box store, gun shop, and this is a great way to keep unauthorized uh, people from accessing your firearm. Uh, the one thing I want to stress is the keys. Um, Make sure that you keep the keys either with you or in a spot uh, hidden where nobody can find them because if you place this key somewhere readily accessible, then anyone can get into the firearms. So the keys are very important to either keep on your person or somewhere safe uh, to prevent someone from accessing them. This is a bolt action rifle. This particular rifle is a Ruger American Gen 2 but it is pretty representative of most uh, common hunting rifles or bolt action rifles found throughout the United States. In order to render a firearm like this safe, the first thing you're going to do is remove the source of feed. You're going to depress the magazine release and take the magazine out. Once the magazine is out, you're going to move your safety selector switch from safe to fire, and you're going to open your bolt, like so. You're going to visually and physically inspect the chamber to ensure that there is not a live round or any brass in the chamber. Once you've done that and you've ensured that there's nothing in the chamber, this firearm is unloaded. In order to utilize a cable lock on a firearm like this, you're going to insert the open end through the ejection port. You're then going to take the open end of the lock and insert it into the locking mechanism Turn your key, lock it in, and remove the key. <clears throat> this firearm is now safe and can be stored safely, and no unauthorized users can access it in order to uh, load or fire it. Um, you cannot close the bolt with the uh, cable lock installed, so it'll have to be stored with the bolt open. I appreciate uh, you watching uh, this demonstration. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to either the Sheriff's Office or Health and Human Services and we can point you in the right direction. Thank you and stay safe out there.